So at this point it's been a couple of weeks since we got the update that fixed the Trurak Mule Deer, and we've gotten a couple of diamonds since then, but both of them have been really not that good looking. So we've done a bunch of grinding, and we've not had much luck in single player since the initial spawns where they were fixed. And I decided it's time to do a proper setup, so I want to actually take out this high bolt axis deer, just since it's kind of chilling over there. Hopefully that's going to be into a lung. I did bring the 243, I probably should have switched to the Mosin, but just kind of went with what I had in my inventory. But anyway, I did actually bring tripods, so gotta figure out where I have them in the inventory. But yeah, I'm having a little bit of issues just like while grinding for mule deer with hunting pressure, so I want to set up tripods at least in the areas where I'm consistently getting a lot of them, and hopefully that can kind of help speed up this process. So kind of decent high bolt axes here to start with, just a silver, but 55kg. Yeah, I figured that must have been close because that was around the area of gold in the past. So not too bad. But we're going to head across this lake. I don't really have much for mule deer here, so I don't think we're going to set up any tripods. Plus, I actually have one right down here anyway. But I kind of want to just go across all the main lakes. We're going to ignore the coast for this hunt. And we'll kind of just find the areas where we see really more than like two or three bucks in any herd. Ooh, that's a pretty solid buck, actually. I don't know where he came from. And it's not going to be a very easy shot to make. I think that might be one of the, like, 190 kg racks. Or it might be somewhere more in the 180s. And that is going to be a slight problem. I actually grabbed the longbow for this. Just because I needed something light. So we're going to get this guy taken care of, hopefully. He's a little bit indecisive about where he wants to actually go. But I don't want to send that buck running any further. And I actually want to make a decent shot on him. So if we can kind of get that out of the way. That'll bring him down. And then we just need to figure out where that buck got to. There's one animal over there. That's actually him. I think our buffalo is going to die. Hopefully. Is that the same one? It is. Our buck slowed down. Just take that shot. I think we should have gotten him. I can't believe this buffalo is still running around. I guess the longbow's not as good. I really would have thought it would have taken care of it by now, though. Because I'm pretty sure we got a lung. But that'll at least get him down pretty soon. I think. There we go. And that wasn't how things were meant to go, but we ended up getting both. I mean, that's definitely a solid way to start this. A 189 kg. It's almost into that 190 area. And 287, so that's like probably the second biggest one I've gotten for a respawn. I just shot like a 299 yesterday as I was kind of getting respawns for this video. So that's not bad, and it wasn't the last time we came to park. I think it was the time before that we got, like, all level twos. So seeing a good four right at the beginning is definitely a good sign. Kind of figures. Just mentioned getting a bunch of level twos, and the next thing we see is a level two. But we'll go ahead and get him taken out. I didn't know Mule Deer drank over on that side. Because there's a drink stone that I'm sure we just spooked everything out of for a ton of black buck over here. And I've had Mule Deer drinking just in that, so over here is kind of new. I didn't see any sign of a new zone. Like, there's a Black Buck drink zone, which didn't give me anything either, so I kind of assume it's part of that same one that we saw the ones fleeing from. I'm not really sure what he was doing there. It could have been just a drink zone that's not showing up. So that might be a little bit of a tough decision. It's not like that's a huge leucistic Black Buck, but it's not bad. And then there's a level 4 Mule Deer there, which also isn't too bad, but I kind of want to try to get the Black Buck, just to kind of get something good along here. And if the Mule Deer somehow stays, maybe we'll go for that as well. Kind of looks like he's going to stop over in there, and there's a bunch of them. So that's the 300. We do have the 243, which isn't good. But I wanted to get that shot off, like, straight away when he stopped. Looks like we got a Lung, so we should be good. But I didn't want, like, others to get in front of him, so... It's kind of cool. He's going to run pretty far, but not bad. And our mule deer did stay. So let's actually try to get him as well. One of the better ones we've seen, honestly. Ooh. Okay, that's not the right gun. Uh, I mean, I don't know if he would be dropping yet, to be honest. We're going to have to check the blood on that. Might have shot him, because that was 300 meters with the 243. 
might have hit too low. So I could see our black buck was actually down right over here. Not a very big one, I think it was 20 to 22. So actually it's a 22.4 silver. We do have a gold one mounted, so I don't think we're going to keep that, but that's pretty cool. And that is Vital Blood. So we got that mule deer with the 243. It's just going to be... Did he just run or did he try to come back? Because if he just ran, it's going to take a long time for him to go down. And of course he just ran the entire time. It's actually not a bad buck though. Definitely not a bad one to randomly take with the 243 at 330 meters. And the good news is we've got a tent at the end of that lake there, so we're not going to have to run all that back. I mean, I guess that was worth it. Worked out in the end, we got both of them. This is kind of what I run into over here, though. I don't know if it's just where their drink zones are and I end up kind of spooking them out. Or if maybe pumas are spooking them, but quite often it's just random roaming mule deer, even though they should be well into their zones. I guess that guy was hiding somewhere, but it's pretty open over there. We might be able to see him and get the shot at him yet. I don't see him anywhere. It could still be that he went down to the end of the lake, so I guess we'll kind of keep running that just in case. Because a lot of times animals just kind of run right around here. And I don't know with all the black buck tracks if we're going to really be able to figure out what he did. So I guess we'll kind of just hope. It's not like he was a really big one. I don't think he went up this way, so we're going to just kind of leave that. That can maybe be one for next time, and at least we're kind of getting into areas that we might want to use a tripod now. I'm not sure about down here, because I usually don't get that many shots, but we'll kind of start here anyway. But this, I think, is a completely new thing. Like, I spook them out of there all the time, and I never know where they come from. Because I usually go around that side of the lake to shoot the mule deer to drink over on that end. But maybe placing a tripod over in here is not such a bad idea. Like, I don't know if we can get down on... Like this little area, that might be the best. Because we could potentially get all the mule deer from one. I think just to be safe. I don't want to end up spooking him even though he should be far enough away. So we'll just drop him. And then I'm hoping that anything on this side wouldn't have heard that. And I think everything would be too far away for them to have heard it. I also don't see any. Sometimes there are ones that are pretty hidden. So there can be a tripod here. That would be pretty good way to tilt into the water I would say but that'll stay there and do its job and I don't see any others so I guess we just have the one and I guess actually the second one hanging out somehow that didn't spook from the first shot just kind of hidden back there if that's where they usually drink that's gonna be a lot better than I thought because I figured it was somewhere up in here where I can never see it but I guess I just spooked them before I realized where they were but that tripod should do fine for us. And I mean, they weren't very big bucks, but two level threes? That's not too bad, especially what we kind of got used to on Parquet. And I really think there just are none on that other end, so I guess that's it for here. And at least we have the tripod set up. So we'll head up to the bigger lake. And that's another pretty good sized buck, beside a not so good sized one. I think just to be safe again, we'll actually take our shots first and then set up the tripods. And of course we want to get that guy first. I thought that might be a problem. He ducked like right in front of the level two. I think we can still get it. Should be just fine, but that wasn't how that was supposed to go. That's another pretty nice buck. So that's again, the thing that I've showed so many times where we spawned too close and he basically was invisible. So. We're just going to claim our other ones and then go back down around. Because I think we're going to have a better shot from right by the water. But that's it's the same rack as the other big one we just shot. But two max weight estimate ones right here in the same place. And there's even another one right over there. So a tripod will be quite useful, I think. Even if we might need one up here as well. I probably need to move the tent and just reconsider. But for the moment, that'll do good enough. There's actually... Quite a lot of bucks down there though and I lost sight of the bigger one. Okay, that's the bigger one. If we do this right, we can probably kill all three. I'm not sure, like this drink zone's all the way up there. I think we can get away with this and not delete any zones. It's probably a risky maneuver, but I tend to value respawns over zones. If they move, that's fine. I need to 
figure out where that second buck was again. Okay, just kind of hidden behind there, so that's a pretty good distance between them. But we're close enough to them, they'll hear the actual gunshot. It doesn't matter, like, the fact that they are so far apart, they're going to spook regardless. So, let's go for a hard shot. And that guy... Got him in the heart as well. And I know the bigger buck was far enough away he wouldn't have heard that. Just kind of chilling out there at... I don't know if that's actually 250, just because that's a good one. Yeah, 244 it says. Wanted to make sure we're not going to mess that up. And when he lifts his head, we'll try to go 3 for 3 on hard shots. I mean, probably that was a hard shot, so it should be good. And from what I can tell, all the zones are still here, so they were in pretty good spots to actually make that work. And seeing what I just saw there, we have to reconsider this setup. Originally, that tent was actually placed for a completely different zone. There used to be one, like, down here. And I never see that, like, in multiplayer or anything anymore, so I guess it kind of got moved. And that probably means it's time to move the tent and all, so we may take the tent, like, down there and put the tripod there. We'll kind of just see how it goes, but... Yeah, like I said, two max weight estimate bucks in the same area here. So we're pretty much at the end of Mule Deer Drink Time, and I wanted to come up here to this lake, which is this one up here in the northeast on the map. And it seems like there's, I don't know, like a good five bucks here. They're all pretty small, but probably a good opportunity to get a tripod set up. And regardless of how many we get this time, that's definitely going to help us, because I could probably sit here and wait for them to come back. I think worst case we can get two here. We'll just take the two that are, like, beside each other. I didn't know they were running mule deer down there, but yeah, we'll just go for these two little ones. And then if we can, like, we'll swing over and get one on the right. Well, I needed to maybe drop the first one to really have the best chance of doing what I wanted there. We definitely got that one. I know we dropped the one that we shot, or at least I think we did. I'm really not sure how many total we just got, but... I mean... I guess we'll go check. We could sit here, but none were special. I mean, looking at that, I think we got all three. Unless these are somehow from the same deer. Which... Ooh, you know what? I think maybe we hit the same one twice. So maybe we only got two, which even still wouldn't be that bad. I mean, it'll be pretty obvious once we pick this guy up. We got him in the lung, and then... I don't even... Oh. <laughs> like, the antler? As he started to take off running? That's a pose I've never shot a deer in. So I guess we'll screenshot that. And our other buck's laying right here. So, not the best, not the worst. Kind of an interesting-looking deer. Kind of like a big twist in that beam. But I think that is going to be it for this video because we've already done quite a lot of mule deer content and I don't want to have another like 25 minute video of a bunch of, for the most part, mediocre mule deer. So I'll do the rest of the setup before the next time we either stream this or do a video on it. And hopefully that's going to go a long way to helping us get our diamond mule deer. And at least as we went along, we got a couple of rares there with the axis deer and the black buck. So definitely can't complain about that anyway. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.